Hello YouTube. I wanted to do a video today that I've never done before. I'm going to do a scissor review and uh, I don't know what to expect from this. I don't have any practice doing this obviously, but I was given a scissor and asked to share my opinions on it and so here I am. I'm going to do that. I am primarily a scissor hair cutter. Like I can use clippers, but I mostly do scissor work. So hopefully my opinions on this are somewhat valid because of my experience with scissors. So, so this is a scissor that was sent to me by the pissed off barber. If you're unaware of him, check him out on Instagram. And I will warn you, he's very offensive. He's actually a total dick, but sometimes he's funny. And I think he introduces like a big shot of truth into the barber industry. He says a lot of things that need to be said. He says a lot of things that should never ever be said, but you know, just be warned if you go check out his material, it's not for the easily offended. I bought his trimmers off of him and I like them. I wanted to do a review on them. I'll probably do that next. But when I bought them, he reached out and said, hey, I might do scissors too. Would you be interested in getting a pair? So he sent me these for free and I haven't taken them out of the box yet. So this is my first time um, I've seen inside the box. I've cracked it open and looked in here, but I've never picked them up yet. So I wanted to do that on camera for the first time. Okay, so immediately, uh, compared to what I'm used to, this feels a little more cramped. So it's not like a big feeling scissor. I do personally, like I kind of have big hands. Um, I do personally prefer large scissors. This one is a six inch. I usually use a seven inch with, again, a little bit bigger handle. The other thing I'm noticing right away is the offset or the crane on this is pretty straight, meaning like coming off of my hand here, um, this, the blade actually extends like straight up, um, where the scissor that I'm used to, the blades are a little bit angled this way. So what, what that does is like, if I'm going to cut like scissor over comb, I have to tr keep my, my wrist parallel to the ground to get a cut that's parallel to the ground, where with the scissors I'm used to, I can keep my wrist a little more turned this way to get the blade parallel to the ground, which to me is a little bit more comfortable. It's a personal preference, but I feel that immediately when I pick these up is the blade is like straight off my hand. There is a curved blade. So this is in fact a dry cutting scissor. The, I don't know the mechanics of exactly how this works, but that, that curve in the blade there makes it um, more ideal for cutting dry hair, something to do with the tension and how it pushes hair. I have owned dry cutting scissors before, and I ultimately never hung onto them long term because it is very much a specialty scissor. It's something like with a regular shear, you can dry cut, it's just not as good, but dry cutting is not, I probably dry cut half my clients and for most of what I do, I can get away with a regular scissor. So getting like a specialty dry cutting scissor might be um, unnecessary for a lot of people, but at the same time, at this price point, and I'll get into that in a minute here. Well, actually I'll get into that right now. I, th I believe he said these are gonna go for just over a hundred pounds, which is maybe, like, maybe they'll be like $150, something like that. And I would say for $150, having a specialty dry cutting scissor is absolutely worth it. Cause typically these things are like a thousand bucks. Um, so if you're getting a scissor that you can use sometimes on some haircuts, a thousand dollars might not be worth it, but $150, $200, probably well worth it. It does say on the side of the scissor here, Japan 440C. So I'm assuming the 440C is a type of steel, steel that they used. I'm not fully aware of that sort of thing, but Japan sounds like it goes without saying. It's probably made in Japan. And if you're unaware, all the best scissors are made in Japan, apparently. Um, the weight feels pretty good. Uh, I personally like a heavy scissor. These aren't ridiculously heavy, but they're not ridiculously light either. They do feel a bit heavier toward the handle than toward the blade. Not that that's important for much. So yeah, the, the weight feels really good. Uh, the, the tang here is good and wide. I like that. It feels very stable. I've, I've had scissors before where this thing is like it screws on and that feels dinky. And I've had scissors where it's just like a tiny little nub and there's not enough to grab onto. But this is like a good, big, sturdy thing to hold onto here. And I do appreciate that. The, the, the scissor does feel very sturdy in my hand. The thumb grip has this angle to it to where it like bends inward this way. I like that a lot because oftentimes instead of cutting, you know, traditionally like this way, you'll tend to bend the scissor forward to reach certain angles. And in doing that, it's a lot easier if you have this kind of uh, bend in the thumb grip there. So that does feel very, very comfortable. As I'm holding these, they're, they're feeling a lot more comfortable than they initially did. I think I could probably do a haircut with these. 
the finish is pretty good. Let me come forward here. The finish is pretty good. It's got a little laser engraved TPOB with his uh, little basher thinning scissor teeth on the edge of the uh, T there. It, it appears to have a pretty standard um, tension adjust, adjustment and out of the factory they're a little bit tight. Maybe they just need oil. Probably take a minute to dial that in. Yeah, they feel okay. They don't feel they don't feel rough by any means. Like the finish on them feels nice, high quality. It feels like a high end scissor for sure. Sometimes when you find like if you go to like the uh, generic beauty store down the street and they have scissors for forty bucks or ninety bucks or something, a lot of times you pick them up and as you close the blades. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting tension this way, which you probably never want to do except to feel if the, te the uh, blades are clean. Um, I don't feel any nicks in the blade. It feels very smooth. But uh, yeah, typically with those cheaper scissors, they feel cheap. You pick them up and they're like shockingly light. And, you, and as you try to put tension on them, they have a hard time closing. These actually do have a hollow ground blade, which means the uh, flat portion here is not actually flat. It bevels inward on both blades. So what that means is the actual cutting edge is in, they're in contact with each other, but the rest of the width of the blade does not touch the rest of the width, width of the blade, um, which means less friction overall and more tension in that cutting area. I think most high-end scissors have that hollow ground. I think that's pretty common, but it's you know it's a it's worth noting with with such a wide blade like this, ha having that is nice because it's just like I said, lower resistance and more tension to, to cut with there. Yeah, that's a good feeling scissor. I could use that. What else do we got here? I do see a small little inconsistency in the finish here. And it makes me wonder if they used a different metal for the blade and welded on a separate metal for the handle. I don't really see any other indication of a weld except one little divot in the finish there. But a lot of times that's common too. You'll find like a harder steel for the blade and then something lighter maybe for the handles or cheaper for the handles. Adjustable bumper, that's always nice. Um, I never thought much about that for a long time until it became a problem. And so what can happen is over the years, this thing will wear down, this little bumper back here. And if it gets, too flat if it wears down too much, then what happens is your blades can cross at the end and, and you end up with the sharp edge hanging over the blunt edge of the back of the scissor. You can really hurt yourself or somebody else, but also it just makes the tension and the, the feeling of the shears weird. Or do you ever, do you ever hear a scissor that's like clack, clack, clack? Like, this makes a good, nice, damp sound. When you hear that like snap, snap, that, that loud scissor sound, that's usually the uh, bumper has an issue. Uh, but the fact that this one is actually threaded and it can be adjusted, so as it wears down, you kind of screw it out here. That's nice. Yeah, this is this seems like a good solid scissor. Unfortunately, because of COVID and the lockdown and everything, I haven't been able to cut any hair, and so I would love to say what I know it feels like to cut hair with this. Um, as soon as I turn off the camera here, I will do some hair cutting with it and come back to you with my feelings. But, you know, with a scissor... You can't tell too much about it straight out of the box. It's not until you do 300 haircuts with it that you know if you really got a good one or a bad one. And to me, like what makes a good scissor is one that I don't have to worry about. Like if I have a scissor that cuts better than anything the day I get it, but 100 haircuts later, it's crap. And then when I have to go get it sharpened, it's a pain in the butt. Like that to me is not a good scissor. But if I get a scissor that cuts okay, but it cuts okay for three, 500 haircuts before I have to deal with it, that's a good scissor to me. And so. I'll probably do a video in a couple months after I've used these on a lot of clients and, and uh, let you know how that goes. But anyways, let me turn off these cameras and go do some cutting. Okay, nice big section of hair here. Oh, they cut. Push a little bit, but they cut. Oh yeah, that's, that's very sharp. Yeah, point cutting that way with such a long, deep point cut is re really hard to do with a dull scissor because it'll just push the hair so much you can't get a clean cut in there. 
And these are doing it pretty okay, um, pretty well actually. Let's see how we can slide cut here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Almost slipped my wrist there, no big deal. Just not used to this. Yeah, that's like not pulling at all. I mean, that could be expected from any brand new scissor, but, but it feels really good. I mean, it feels like, let me see if just a little tip here will cut well. Absolutely. They're a lot shorter than what I'm used to, but I think um, most dry cutting shears are typically pretty short. That'll do. That'll work. I'll take them. Okay, so to sum it up, I think for what he's planning on charging for these, which again, I believe is roughly maybe $150, don't quote me on that, um, absolutely well worth it. This particular scissor that he sent me is in fact a dry cutting scissor. Between recording here, I, I, I was messaging the pissed off barber and he let me know that they do have more of a standard scissor available. And if the quality matches this, I think for under 200 bucks, well worth it. The thing you have to consider with um, buying a pair of scissors is like, if you're doing 10 scissor cuts a day and you're doing like precision cuts, then maybe it's really important to have like the highest quality scissor. But if you're mostly doing clipper cuts and you do a couple scissor cuts here and there every so often, you can get away with a $200 scissor, especially, you know, at, at this quality, I think it's well worth it. I think, you know, if you're looking at going into the random barber supply and buying like the stamped metal, like disposable $40 shear, this is like the upgrade of, from that, I would say like performance wise, I can't say anything about how long it'll last or how well it'll sharpen because I haven't done any of that yet. But if, if you're newer at scissor work and you want to get a pretty well performing scissor, I think this is a pretty good deal. Thanks for watching. If you want to see other scissor reviews, I can, I'd be happy to try to do this again. Please leave any questions below. And remember, I'm not the pissed off barber, or am I? If you have any questions about the scissors specifically, go message them. Um, I'm just a third party reviewer here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.